Okay, I'm in Brussels Airport. It's time to find my teammates. Hi, Jeff. Hi. Here we are in Brussels. Okay, so now we're recording? Yes. Okay, so thanks, Gene. Uh, hi, everyone. I'm in Brussels Airport, and I met the first member of my team, and I'll show you him in a minute. Okay. So we're just hanging out here, and Gene, you can show them uh, yeah. the outside a little bit. And here's what it looks like outside. There's the big bird. Hi, Jeff. Hey, Gene. How are you? Good, good. Where were you from? I am from Los Angeles. Oh, Los Angeles. You live in the city? Um, I live in a suburb, sort of, of Los I Angeles. See, I see, I see. You lived there a long time? I've been there uh, about two years. Okay. So I'm originally from Sacramento. Oh, I see. Yeah. What about you, Gene? Well, I'm from, I'm from Texas, mm -hmm. and uh, not far from Fort Worth at Dallas, Texas. In fact, uh, I'm about 100 miles from the world headquarters of Mercy Ships. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so that's in, you said it was Lindale? It's in Lindale. Okay. Lindale, Texas. Is that near Dallas? Well, it's on the other side of Dallas from where I live, yeah, but um, it's probably only about maybe 60 miles from Dallas. Cool. Yeah. I've never been there, but hopefully someday. You're welcome. Come. Visit yeah. Texas. Mm -hmm. Right, right. Well, are you anxious about going to Lome? Lome. Okay, I gotta get the pronunciation right. Um, I'm, I'm not sure what to expect. Yeah, I'm, I'm anxious and a little bit nervous and a little bit apprehensive. Yeah, because of the unknown. Yeah. Actually, what I'm most looking forward to right now is just you know meeting the rest of our team. Yes, yes. And getting to know them and um, just one step at a time. Yeah. What What would you in thinking about? So what 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 have you thought about that you would like to accomplish? What, what, what's your prayer life been concerning this trip? Okay. Um, well, you know, honestly, I'm still I'm still learning about Jesus. Okay. And so I sort of hope, I definitely hope to learn more about Him on this trip. Okay. And also about you know the Holy Spirit okay. and about God. And and I want to learn. I guess I want to learn. About the Togolese people mm -hmm. and how to love them the way Jesus would love them, you know. Um, I think it'd be amazing if I could love them like as much as anyone back home, you know. Uh, yes, I think that's what I want. Because after all, they are God's creatures, just like we are. Yeah. God loves them yeah. as much as He loves us, and. We're going as servants. Do you ever think about that? We're going as servants. And how do you how do you honor God by being a servant? Who is a servant? That's to to people. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be servants, representing the love of God to people. Let me tell you what my prayer is. I pray that God will use me to accomplish whatever. He has for me to accomplish, and I don't know what that is, but that He will use me to talk about Him. In fact, let me tell you what happened on the airplane one day. Uh, I sat next to two young ladies that were Muslim, mm -hmm. and uh, we got to talking about religion, uh, and I told them about Jesus. Uh, they said, well, we don't we don't believe in him. I said, well, Jesus is in the Koran. Yes. Oh, Holy Spirit working in our heart. In fact, we can't even hardly understand the Bible unless the Holy Spirit reveals it to us. Right, right. So, working with a, with, a, with people in the name of Christ, using the power of the Holy Spirit, offering everything that we can to help them to salvation, and then the power of God has to come in and do that. We, we don't do that. We can't save anybody. But we tell them the person that can. So that's what I want to do. Services. Mm -hmm. And so we, we don't know what, what God has for us. But I'm sure that there is something out there that God wants us to do. And my prayer is, I don't know what that is. I, I cannot know what that is until I get there. Whatever it is, I'm going to fail. Just use me.
So I think it's going to be interesting. Uh, I can't hardly wait. I'm a bit anxious, a little bit, a little bit nervous because of the unknown. I, I worked for Bell Helicopter for many years, and I, I've traveled the world. But when I would go into a place, I would go because they invited me or there, there was a problem. So when I would go into a place, you know, I was in charge. Mm -hmm. Now, a absolutely, I'm not in charge of anything. So, yeah, I don't have a clue what I'm that's doing. Fine. <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. I know you've watched some extra stuff. Oh, yeah. that's great. Oh, okay. oh, good. Good. Well, we've arrived in Togo. Well, I guess we can go. Everybody's got that passport. I'm amazed at the level of comfort. And also, I'm amazed that we have well, so electricity. Far, we've right. had electricity all the time. Yeah. I did say, Allison and Peter, I downplayed it because it's not <laughs> a Holiday Inn. <laughs> but <laughs> it's better than maybe you thought, and I like it that way. Yeah. I don't want you I'm thinking amazed. it's going to be the Holiday Inn and then, ooh. But we all together in the dormitory. Akbar, good morning, sir. Oh, there it is. There she is. This is all our compound here. Yeah. Yeah. So, hi, Mary. Hi, Mary. Hi. Hi. <laughs> it's only day one, too, so lots of time. Yeah. Okay, cool. It's a good photo picture of you. Hey, here we are. All food here. Maybe you just feel like baking a cake somebody's birthday, or you feel like making French toast some morning, and they're not serving it. On a weekend especially, you can come in here and it's open for all the crew to come in and use it. Use it and clean up after you. They have everything that you would need here. And I mean, I made uh, cupcakes once for the women's prison, uh, just to bring down to the, to, to the prison. We go every, every other week we go to a, a, a men's and a women's prison here in Togo. And uh, I go to the men's and it's a great outlet, which is wonderful. They're really hungry. And it's not like prison square, where you would know, but it's unbelievable. You know, in the United States, I can't speak for other countries, they virtually, uh, I was a cop for 34 years, even cops can't bring guns into prisons. They search you here, you just walk right in. They say, oh, mercy shit. You walk right in, and you're actually in the yard with the prisoners. You're all in one big yard, and there's no guards around. It's really different, but it's, very powerful physio. We have screening, we have eyes, and we have uh, one other. I can't think of what the other one is right now. And you can see we're in a busy port that we go to. We have to pay to get in. We just don't go. And it's a shame because look at that. Now look at all those ships. There's probably a good 50 because you can't see them all and why those ships are there is because they believe it's a safe spot to be and they believe it's a safe spot to be because of these four vessels this is the Togolese Navy almost in its entirety <laughs> and the, wow. they patrol there and it's so dangerous on this coast yes. Yes. <laughs> on location in Lome, Togo So this, when it's open, is the only Starbucks in all of West Africa. Hey, Gene. <laughs> what are you working on? I'm cleaning this door. <laughs> How it you was, feeling? It was dirty. <laughs> good job. Keep up the good work. Okay. Take everything off, tidy it up, put it together where it's supposed to be. Try and make everything a bit logical, if we can. And that is kind of run by supplies but we also know what stuff is out there as well. Okay. So, yeah, so when medicine comes from the IOC or Holland on the containers, mm -hmm. then they get sent to supplies. Good afternoon, crew. Testing of the alarm system will continue. Please disregard until further notice. Once again, 
Testing of the alarm system will continue. Please disregard until further notice. Thank you. And then, so, yeah, they go through supplies, and then we collect them from supplies. Okay. Yeah. But I'm the one that's in charge of ordering the medicines, and then I give those orders to Becky at the IOC, and then she sends the orders to the company, and then make sure the orders are coming. So she kind of, she kind of, yeah. So we kind of do the orders. Now, we have no play one at a time.